just when you thought you couldn't get enough, we are back with the Fit Aid Morning Show. But this time, we are at Wadapalooza 2016. And I would be nothing, Kenny Santucci, without my beautiful co host, Jackie. Jackie, welcome to Wadapalooza 2016. How excited are you to be here? I'm really excited, but if you can make the rain go away, I'd be like 10 times more excited. The weather was a lot better last year. But enough about us. We're going to get into it. And two guys I've been waiting to talk to, waiting to interview for a long time. These guys have created a community within the community, and I can't wait to find out how you guys did it. Seth and Drew from Misfit. Guys, welcome to the show. How do you feel about being at Wadapalooza? I'm pretty excited, except for the rain, like Jackie said. I want my hair up, man. I, I had it all ready this morning, and I walked outside, and the wind just went up. And... First thing I want to know, how where, where the whole Misfit thing come from? Well, Seth and I started training regionals athletes in the Northeast, and the whole going to each individual athlete got really annoying, so we put it on a website, thinking it was just an easy place to get our athletes to all go to. Well, now 20,000 people are going to it a day. It was just one of those things where it kind of grew organically, you know, out of our affiliate into the, you know, the competitive side of the sport and kind of went wild. That That's kind of what was interesting about it is when we first started CrossFitting, there was no affiliates, zero in the state of Maine. When we finally opened our affiliate, there was three and immediately we just kind of focused on the sport side of things and we're pumping out athletes from our uh, facility that were just heads beyond everyone else in the area so all the best athletes in Maine or even New Hampshire were coming to us at the time this is like 2010 like what are you guys doing so when you get to work with the high level of that time you get to kind of get ahead of the sport and you start to see how it's evolving as you're working with the best and then you know from there other people want it and it just kind of spreads like you said organically and then we get you know the best from all around that we get to kind of use as our test subjects to develop our product. Were you guys in the uh, sports performance or the strength and conditioning world before you got into CrossFit? Uh, a little bit. I had like one of those certifications that are a dime a dozen kind of outside CrossFit. Found it disinteresting. So like CrossFit was really the first thing that inspired me to get serious in the sports side of things. I think a lot of people don't appreciate the, the hands-on that you get from working with athletes. I think it's a, a test and retest type of thing rather than, oh, I, I read this in a book and I found this out. Who, who do you think really tipped the scales for you? What was, what was the misfit tipping point? So we see people following the blog, sending videos to us. They're not moving the way we want them to. So we start traveling the world, putting on these training camps. That's when we run into a Jordan Cook. That's when we run into a Travis Williams. That's when we really start to put the program and the movement together, which is what we're all about. The tipping point was really hitting the road, meeting these people, let us fine tune, nudge you in the right direction, and then take off. I just think that's really important because I think that's the gap between a lot of these programs that online because everybody has online programming right now and we all want to know like how are you so successful because everyone's trying to do what you're doing right what do you think it is that thing that you have that nobody else has our personalities we put ourselves out there and we're just kind of open and honest and there's like you said there's a thousand online competitor blogs now right but you couldn't say who was kind of behind or who, who you would go talk to to even find out answers about what they want we're willing to just put ourselves out there like we're pretty approachable we spend the same amount of time with the beginner who has questions about the kip as we do about the competitor that's trying to fine-tune their snatch so like it doesn't matter what level you're at if you want to get better we're here for you and and I think that that approachability is what kind of allowed us to build the community it's not like we're just focused on the competitor the games athlete the regional athlete if you want in like we're here for you so it doesn't matter where you're at that's huge because you said you get out there and you meet them that's what other people aren't doing that's what like you could train me online but how do you know how i move and you might know how i move on a really good instagram video that i posted you might know how i move when i'm trying to like show my best me but you don't see how i really move and i think that's what a lot of people aren't doing like if you're having these little camps just like i'm really interested in this program but i don't really know much about it and you go and you're like like you said that's where you find these athletes who are waiting for someone to find them who yes. are really good at one thing but are missing something and they just want someone to say i like for me as an athlete I just want someone to tell me what to do, what I suck at, because I know what I suck at. I know what I need to do, but I need you to be like, hey, Jack, you need a handstand walk three days a week. This is how much you're going to do. And we need to see progress. That's what a lot of people aren't doing. It's such, it's, I don't want to say random, because it's just, um, it's different workouts, right? But we don't test a lot, and we don't retest a lot. And how do you know you're getting better if you're just throwing out all the stuff. The things we do is we're really detail oriented. So like even uh, there are games athletes that will criticize their toes tomorrow. Like, yeah, you have enough to get there. But if we focus on the detail of the movement, we might turn a set of 25 into a set of 35 instantly because you're just missing that little thing. Maybe the turnover of the muscle up's not quite right. 
we tweak that and you turn your you know your set of 15 into a set of 20 and on the big stage that makes a huge difference so the highest level competitors still need that detailed focus not just somebody to pat them on the ass and say good job again like that's not what they need they need coaching all levels of, of athlete need that sort of attention and we're willing to acknowledge that and put ourselves out there for that. I think you guys did an unbelievable job first and foremost with the marketing I think the marketing is unbelievable I think you guys really uh, reach out to the community like Jackie was saying like you guys have created this community inside the CrossFit community that is so strong and so powerful I remember being at the regionals this year and there was a sea of purple t-shirts so you brought the color purple back that's cool but you guys also like the marketing end of it is so awesome and I, I think you I think a lot of people undermine that what are you guys looking to do next it, you know what it's it's one day at a time because it's kind of limitless what we can do there's so many directions we can take it there's so many types of athletes to work with when we have online you know we do remote coaching with 30 40 people but these athletes range from brand new crossfitters to again games athletes so it's one day at a time it's continuing to build the brand it's continuing to build the community realistically we can't respond to 500 emails a day but guess what there's a lot of athletes that have been through our system for years now that can help in different areas and be a bigger part of what we do so it's about getting other individuals to kind of step up and take that leadership role within our communities and that's how we'll continue to grow and evolve two things i really love that you just said is you said um we're not athletes ourselves we're coaches okay that's huge because if I'm so focused on being an athlete, why are you going to hire me to be your coach? I can't sit there and look at your videos at night. I'm looking at my videos at night. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's really important for someone that's looking for a coach. And then you said, we take it one day at a time. I have so much respect for that because you're growing so organically. You're going with the flow when it comes to who you are and what you're putting out because anybody could put out a program, like I said, but not everyone's going to follow it because it's about the people behind the program. And the other important thing is you outsource, right? You're not just trying to take my money. Like You actually care. You're investing in your company to make it better for me at the same time. We have other coaches that are part owners and part of what we do and they've been in our system now for almost five years. And just like you said, um, why would you hire a coach? Athletes have a great amount of experience they can give somebody else, but I've been only coaching for five or six years now, only focusing on the sports side of things. The athlete's been only focusing on themselves. So for an athlete to say that they have more experience because they've been to the games, no, I've seen you and a hundred others at the games and I know what's gonna work best because that's what I studied. It is two different worlds and if people aren't willing to separate it and they just think because someone's been to the game six times they're the best coach, I, I don't think that's the case. I, I And I've tried your programming a bunch of times, you know, I know a ton of guys who follow Misfit and there's a lot of uh, about your programming that's just like high volume like crazy high volume, it's like the bitch work and the grunt work and all that stuff. So is that program, is that just like miscellaneous stuff that you guys throw in there that you're like, all right, we're just, we just need them to sweat or dog it out for about 40 minutes or is there some rhyme or reason to it? Yeah, the, the volume looks like it's a lot on the blog because there's optional extra pieces. The mandatory work that we think is important for the time of year for athletes preparing for the open, for regionals, for the games, is not that high volume. The extra pieces you see on our blog are there to pick one, pick two, pick something that's a weakness that whether it's an extra lift, an extra conditioning thing, an extra skill piece that will fit yours best because if you're just pulling from a blog, no blog is a one size fits all. It doesn't work that way. Like You have to be able to adjust and put in pieces that are going to benefit you more than anything else. And if you don't have a coach that's writing every piece customized for you, then you're going to have holes, nothing you can do. So what we've done is we've come up with a way to add pieces that make sense for the time of year that if you're lacking that part of your game, you add one or two depending on which you can handle for volume, what type of athlete you are, into the program so that you can do the best you can with a generic program to fill in as many holes as you have. How long should they be working out a day? Well, you can scale the blog. We still want those other people to feel like they're part of the community, but they have to be able to scale down. I just think that's like, that's huge because I could do, because I'm like the biggest program hopper. I just want to work out with people, right? That's my thing. I get to gym, I'm like, I'm going to warm up. Who's going to be ready in hours? So I keep jumping on this random shit. I'm not going to get better at my weaknesses because my weakness, these people are getting like programming from their coaches to set their weaknesses. And I think it's huge that you say, pick one of these because my weakness is not yours. You know, and so if we're all on the same program, then we're all missing out on something. You've got to sacrifice some things. If your goal is to make it to the games, you might not be jumping in these awesome workouts with me anymore because you're beyond that. You're, you've got a different goal. 
goal. You know, you, you sleep, you nap, you go to the gym, you eat. That is your life, you know. But I think it's huge to be like, what's your weakness and let's find a way to hit it. I mean, do you guys have anything you want to plug? Anything you guys are working on right now that maybe you want the audience to see? MisfitAthletics.com. MisfitAthletics.com slash training camps if people want to come work with us. Um, we're traveling all around the country. We'll be back at it um, once the once the game season's over. So On Facebook, YouTube, Misfit Athletics. You guys got a huge following. Unbelievable job. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you.